Today, I'm going to talk about blending in the oil industry. Specifically, I'm going to talk about shrinkage. Who says one plus one is two? It's not. Not always. Not at least in the oil industry. When one cubic meter of heavy crude oil is blended with one cubic meter of condensate, the total volume will be less than two cubic meter. That means there will be some shrinkage due to the molecular size of each component. Hydrocarbons are chemical compounds made of carbons and hydrogens, mainly. This chart shows in black a heavy crude oil and in red a light hydrocarbon. Each hydrocarbon has different components, from C1 to C30 and others. If we associate molecular mass with size, heavy components like C20s will be bigger than light components like C1s. Then we can say there will be some shrinkage due to small molecules will fill the gaps between the largest and the medium ones. Usually, in the oil industry, Different hydrocarbons are blended, sometimes for a specific purpose, such as to reduce the viscosity of a heavy crude oil by mixing with light hydrocarbons, like condensate, butane, or propane. Also, in this process, density, vapor pressure, viscosity, and other blend parameters change. It's very important to estimate how much shrinkage is expected to understand the losses for volumetric balance or for leak detection purposes. In this short video, I will talk about two ways to estimate the shrinkage. One will be the traditional API method and the other will be using a commercial software. First, I will talk about the API method. Basically, this standard was developed based on experimental data. They blended different crude oils with light hydrocarbons and volumes and density were measured at specific conditions. Based on that, they got this equation to calculate the shrinkage, where the main parameters are volume and density. If we plot this equation, we will have this generic curve that relates shrinkage, density and volumes. This chart shows the max shrinkage will occur when 50-50 heavy and light crude oil is blended. The green curve shows us a specific example for a 56 API density difference. If we plot this example into two axes, volume and shrinkage, we will have this curve. If we use 5% of diluent, we will have almost 0.098% of shrinkage. For example, for a 10,000 cubic meter of total blend, there will be 9.8 cubic meter of shrinkage. And for a hypothetical example, 50% of diluent, we will have the maximum shrinkage, 0.58%. A difference to API method, using a software may require more data but it will give us more results. Also, the API method is limited to two products only, but using a software, we can blend more than two streams at the same time. Here, a quick blending example to compare both methods. We will blend 6% of light into 94% of heavy crude oil. Basically, both results are very close and um, API standard says there is a 0.04% of error using this equation. In summary, to calculate the shrinkage using the API method, only density and volumes are required. Therefore, the accuracy of this method depends on the measurement of this parameter. Crude oils outside of this density range will affect the accuracy. To calculate the shrinkage using a software, 
it works for a wide range of densities and give us more results such as vapor pressure, viscosity, thermal conductivity and others. Personally, I prefer to use a software over the API standard. For both cases, and when accuracy is required, lab tests is recommended.